Hi guys, I have to show you something. In Baltimore, Maryland, a bridge has collapsed and you won't believe the reason why it has collapsed. So look at the bridge and do you see the freighter? Do you see the freighter, the container boat driving against that bridge and making it collapse? That is absolutely insane, guys. This bridge is in Baltimore, Maryland. And look at this. I mean, I'm stunned that these days, these boats, these freighters don't have warning systems. I mean, he's really, the boat is, you see that bridge, you know where you are, you know you're not in open waters, right? So this is there, you see the boat, you see that? I mean, that is absolutely insane. And there you see the collapsed parts of the bridge. And I mean, basically, we're not talking about a small boat, right? I mean, and you know, I don't know what's wrong with that, Captain. Makes me speechless, guys, you know? Um, you must know if you navigate through these areas that you're hitting stuff, right? And then just driving there as if there was nothing. I mean, it's, it's amazing. But amazing part is that this side of the bridge collapses first, although he's hitting that side of the bridge. And it is also amazing how quickly the bridge collapses. And the terrible, terrible thing is it looked like that there were cars on the bridge. And now I've also heard reports that there were construction workers on the bridge. And you see lights on the bridge and there you go. I mean, this is, this is just crazy. The governor, Wes Moore, has declared the state of emergency. So there are reports that the freighter lost engine power or something like this, which made them unable to maneuver. And that is really, I mean, this is a big, big freighter. If that thing is pushing forward and you don't have the power of engines to reverse it, there is no way. And even if you did start to try to reverse it, it'll still push forward for quite a while until the engine power really sets in and you can get in reverse. Even with smaller boats, you're facing that problem. That's why you always, if you're now navigating boats, you have to think ahead of time and you have to know how your engines work and how to maneuver them. And with a big thing like this, this is pushing. So that makes more sense that they had some kind of emergency, which made them two things, unable to steer the ship, but also unable to reverse the ship or to drive the ship you know, away from the bridge and in between the posts of the bridge. But what a dramatic, dramatic incident that is just happening, just happened, but it's still happening. The search for people in the water is ongoing. That bridge has a lot of traffic. So every day about 31,000 vehicles, including trucks, are driving over that bridge. And what the experts are saying that unfortunately the boat hit the most unfavorable spot in the bridge. So like the weakest point that made it collapse so quickly and in full width. So the full bridge was collapsing, not just this part. It was the whole thing that collapsed in a very, very tragic way with most likely cars and people on top of that bridge. I mean, it's morning, late, early morning there. So people might be commuting to work already, but the good thing is it was not during rush hour. So that would have maybe been even worse, but definitely there seem to be some people in the water and they're searching for them as we speak right now. Baltimore is a major arena for commerce and, you know, having lost that bridge will create a major backlog for the area as well. But you know what? To me, that is not important right now. Important is the lives of the people that might have been on that bridge. And the most important thing is right now to save everyone and to find everyone that might be affected by this drama, by this disaster. 
the freighter was on its way to Sri Lanka and now reports are that the water there around this area is already full of diesel fuel. The bridge is called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. It is part of I-695 and it is a critical infrastructure for traffic and shipping along the East Coast. And that bridge opened in 1977. So it was named after the author of the Star Spangled Banner. It spans 1.6 miles and it is located about 45 miles northeast of Washington, D.C. And that is really crazy, guys. I mean, that's not a small, mini, teeny, tiny bridge. So what was a captain of that ship thinking when he drives with that freighter, right? As if he was targeting the pillar of the bridge. If you see the video and I'll show it to you right away, he was as if he was driving with the middle of the ship, like driving right at it. And then the bridge that appears to be a steel bridge collapsed right into the water. So absolutely insane, guys. So I thought I would let you know about this. So while I'm making this video, I heard news that they have rescued two people out of the water. So one of the people that they rescued did not want to be treated. That person seems to be fine. The other person is treated, seems to be in critical condition, but we don't know more as of yet because that has just happened and it's not daylight yet it's still dark so searching for people in the water is certainly a more difficult effort than as if there was already the daylight the morning is coming it's getting lighter and lighter by the minute and the rescuers are out there trying to find people they don't know how many cars were on the bridge i mean there's video footage so they should have an assumption by now so they should be aware of how many people they're looking for the initial report was 20 people but maybe even more they know the number of construction workers that was on the bridge that has not been released yet but the question is how many cars and how many people were in the cars. That was probably not visible on the video footage. So I hope, I hope, I hope that they will find everyone alive. So guys, I'll keep you updated about that incident for sure. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and leave this video a like and click the notification bell so that you are informed if I release a new update. So thank you guys for watching and let's hope and pray that everyone will be safe and that there are no fatalities <coughs> in this terrible, horrible incident. So thanks for watching, guys. I see you soon.